All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I am Corby, your beauty, health, and lifestyle guru, taking you guys into my journey of reverting my straight hair back to curly. So this is what I'm working with right now. I have some very straight, dry, nasty, brittle hair. No goodness well, if my mama knew I was walking outside looking like this, she would slap me silly. Now, you know, goodness well, this is not necessary. Now, I have not put in any type of liquid or moisture to my hair besides grease to my head since I straightened my hair. Now, if you guys are not familiar with how I straighten my hair, please look down in the description box below and I got you. Ah, let's get to this. Oh my God. Now starting off with some washed hair, you guys, let's go ahead and get this water started. So I'm starting off with a warm temperature close to a hot texture. I said texture, huh? Temperature of water. I have low porosity hair and in order for me to do anything to my hair, as far as receiving any type of moisture, I have to make sure that my hair is warmed up. So that's going to allow the hair cuticles to open up to allow any moisture to get in if you're not familiar. Starting off with my shampoo, and how to properly shampoo your hair, you're going to make sure that you focus only on your scalp because technically you're only really washing your scalp in the first place. The rest of the suds and everything else will fall up, fall down to the ends of your hair. But you really mainly want to focus on making sure that that scalp is clean, take, washed, massaged, getting all of that nasty dirt and ook and gook all off of your hair. Now, what if you've noticed, I have used all of Cream of Nature products. Cream of Nature has become one of my favorite product lines when it comes to keeping Keeping your curls moisturized and bounce back popping and absolutely soft by the way my hair gets come it gets completely and extremely soft after just shampooing my hair so as you see I am making sure that I'm getting all of my scalp and my curls are popping back already I didn't really have to put any of the shampoo down the ends of my hair at all so once I go ahead and shampoo this thing down as you see my curls are already reverting back it's so pretty pretty it's so exciting i'm just gonna go ahead and rinse out this shampoo now once i rinse out my shampoo and of course once again i'm using warm temperature i said warm temperature hair good gracious i can't even talk right today warm temperature water good night warm temperature water to go ahead and rinse out my hair i really make sure that i get all of that shampoo out of my hair and the water looks nasty honey i have some dirty hair that is not cool so i'm just going to lightly towel dry my hair but i'm still keeping majority of the moisture into my hair because i'm getting ready to do some deep conditioning but as you see, my curls are already popping. And in order for me to do absolutely anything remotely smart to my head, I need to make sure I work in sections. Taking and tackling my hair, I said taking care. Yeah, taking care of my hair and tackling my hair all in one is really intimidating. So I have to make sure that I work in sections. It's just like how I do my goals. I do my goals by my weeks, then by the months, then by the increments, and then by the year. So I have to look at it that way. So the large number won't be so overwhelming and scary to tackle. Sometimes you got to work in sections. It just works out. Boom. Now, going in with my intense moisture conditioner as well as my hair mask con deep conditioner, I'm going to set my hair up for a deep conditioning process. Now, taking the hair mask first, I make sure that I bust them rims at the seams, okay? Make sure that my edges and the scalp of my hair and nape of my hair is taken care of. I want to make sure that I am moisturizing literally all of my my scalp why because that's exactly where my hair grows out of and that's exactly where i need the majority of the moisture of my hair on my scalp my scalp be neglecting honey now and then i go in and i take the intense conditioner cream and I just place this on the ends of my hair, going down my complete hair shaft. And I just moisturize this accordingly, just like I would put any type of hair lotion or any type of conditioner into the hair. You do it as you see fit. I like to really moisturize my hair by taking my fingers through my hair. I rarely use combs when it comes to it because I don't like to pull and nag at my nape or my sc or your scalp, regardless of whatever you want to call it. Um, I think that's pretty much the same thing all in a sense if it's not please correct me because I do not want to be wrong and whatever but anywho as I am completely finished with moisturizing my hair while conditioning my hair I'm just going to pull this all the way back into a ball and then I'm going to pull it tight with a hair band 
And I'm just going to go ahead and put a shower cap on top of it. Then after I place my shower cap on top of my head, I'm going to go ahead and place my bonnet on top of my head, trying to create some heat. I'm just going to leave this on my hair for about, I want to say maybe two hours. Usually I'll go to sleep with this conditioner in my hair, but at this time, ain't nobody got time. Actually, no, I only set this in my hair for only 20 minutes, I believe. Or was it 25 minutes? I think it was only 20 minutes. Yeah. I only set this in my hair for about 20 minutes. So as my timer goes off, I go ahead and take the shower cap off of my head as well as the bonnet and look at all this lusciousness, you guys. My hair is already popping. My curls are just giving me so much life right now. I have no straight piece in sight. Do you see that? Do you see that? So as you know, my method works, you guys. I am obsessed with my curls, but sometimes I do like my hair to be straightened. And lately, I've been straightening my hair more than normal. Then I normally straighten my hair like maybe once or twice a year. I've actually straightened my hair this year at least five times. And every time I've straightened my hair, it has reverted right back to this curly state for every time. Look at my curls. My curls are popping. I really don't even need to do a roller set into my hair, but I am. I'm just going to go ahead and do a roller set because I want some thicker and bigger curls this time. And I want my curls to be a little bit more defined than what they already are right now. So as you know, I'm just going to go ahead and work in section and I really don't have to speak on this part so I'm just gonna allow the music to play and let everything be self-explanatory all of the products that you will see me use I will place in the description box below with the action of how I use them well not how I use them but when I use them on in the description box below good gracious I can't even talk right but as you see you will get your life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and click that bell button so that way that you could be notified on all of the videos that I place on the regular. Yes, I'm back. I'm sick no more. So my videos will be uploaded every Monday, Tuesday, and Saturdays on IGTV. Today I am posting a video on Friday, but that's because I have been sick all this week and I wanted to be able to get my videos out. So I want to say thank you guys so much for those who are, are subscribed. I appreciate your love and thank you so much who are following me on all of my social medias. You guys are the bomb.diggity.com. I have some great things cooking up and shaking up for you guys and I hope you guys stay tuned. So, mwah! Love you all. Love God. Love is love. So love God love.